Good morning, Sprucewood Falcons. This week is October 26th through October 30th. Let's go to kindergarten for the leather of the week. Hi, my name is Gage and I'm with Jill and Addie from Miss Willie's class. Can you tell me what the leather of the week is? P. Good. What sound does P make? P. Good. What are some things that start with P? Penguin, pumpkin, princess. Good job. Thank you, kindergarten. Now to our reporter for our story highlights. Hi, I'm here with Stella and Sophia. They were doing online schooling, and now they are back with us. Stella, did you choose to do online school? Yes and no. I was just a little nervous to come back to school, and I, yeah, so I was a little uncomfortable, but my parents did not uh, really think I should because the numbers of COVID were getting higher, and they just didn't want to, because my mom has epilepsy, they didn't want to risk anything. So they did online work too. Okay, Sophia, did you choose to do online school? Um, it wasn't really my choice. It was mostly just my parents' choice because they thought it'd just be better for me. And since I have asthma, if I got it, it'd probably be a little hard for me to recover. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. <laughs> Good. How did you like it? It was, it was kind of, I didn't really enjoy it that much because I just, I'd rather just be here at school with like all my friends and having the teacher in action or whatever, but it sh I didn't really like it, no. Um, well, I liked it kind of because I could wake up later, like nine, and still get my work done. And I could stay in my PJs all day and just do online, but it was a little hard for me to learn, so. Good, how did you prefer online or in person? Well, I prefer both in a lot of different ways. Uh, number one for here is I wanna be with all my friends and it would be easier for me to learn, but at home I could be cozy and eat snacks, but I'd rather be at school. Um, I, I'd rather be at school too. It's just, I think, I just like it better because, you know, we get to do all that stuff and then it's just, I, I think it's just a lot better. Okay, thank you guys. Here, I'm here with Hayden and Quinn. This year's Red Ribbon Week theme is Be Happy, Be Brave, Be Drug Free. How can we be happy, guys? Um, I can be thankful for what I have. We can be happy by being posi having a positive attitude. Great. How can we be brave when someone tries to get us to do something we know we shouldn't do? Standing up for the right thing is what I think. We can be brave by not letting others tell us what to do. Good. How can we be drug free? Um, I'd say by keeping my, my body and mind healthy. I would also say that we should say no when 
someone tries to offer us some drugs. Thank you guys. Hi Spursewood Falcons. This week at Spursewood, it's Red Ribbon Week. In fact, all across the country of the United States, it's Red Ribbon Week. So each day this week, we're gonna have some really fun daily themes and fun activities to do. So today, hopefully you all got the message that we are wearing red for Red Ribbon Week. And our theme today is, I am ready to be drug free. Later today, you're all going to get to sign a pledge form, a big poster that we'll post um, up in the lunchroom for the rest of the week. And you'll get to um, remind everybody at the school and remind yourself that you have promised and pledged to be drug free. Tomorrow on Tuesday, the theme is it would be crazy to do drugs. So you're gonna get to wear crazy hair and crazy hats. That'll be fun. And then during the day tomorrow, each one of you is get to, going to get to tie your own red ribbon on our fence outside of the school. On Wednesday, the theme of the day is sock it to drugs. So wear crazy socks and that'll be fun to see the crazy socks you come up with. And we'll remember to, to sock it to drugs. We're not gonna do drugs. And then Thursday, we're gonna be wearing our Halloween costumes and doing our Halloween celebration anyway. So the theme of that day is say boo to drugs because we don't like drugs. And that's the end of our week. Remember, just four days of the, of the week. So we hope that all of you have gotten this message. We've sent flyers home to your parents. And if you have any questions, you can ask your teacher for a reminder about what the theme of the next day is so that you can participate with us in remembering and telling all your friends and getting excited about living a life that is free of drugs. Way to go, Falcons. Have a great week. Now for Sprucewood Current Events. October 26th is Red Ribbon Week. October 30th, Halloween costumes can be worn to school. Please remember no blood, no violence, and no weapons or things that resemble weapons. We aren't able to have a parade this year, but teachers can still have a class party. Your individual teachers will give you more information on this. See you next week, Falcons.